Billy Jones was great friends with Walt Disney. Wow. And right. so uh, he uh, called uh, Walt and Walt put his art department on it, gave us some sketches, and we chose this one for the wild cat. The Unbelievable. So there is a touch of Disney magic in this place. Yeah, well, especially the lines on Saturday and Sunday, which is a lot like Disneyland. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yes, no, Walt and, So Billy Jones was the first one to be the engineer on the train at Disneyland. Uh, opening day. On opening day, right. Yes. Right. But and, I did and not. And he advised walt on what size train to use for because he wanted to use uh he wanted to buy ours and we just uh billy said no it's not for sale but it isn't even the right size for you you would want a larger train and so billy advised walt Great on what size hidden stories yeah and they're just wonderful stories so what we're finding out today is billy had a lot of friends a lot of friends who helped him along the way or he helped you along the way and here's danny and Denny, you said normally you operate the uh, the organ. Right, we have a carousel organ, which is out for repair right now, but it, it, it sits right here in this little carousel booth. And you play it. Right, well, I keep it maintained. It uh, actually is automatic. It's a player, so it a player plays, organ. It plays on the original pipes, but it plays from computers. Now, what's this gadget in your well, hand? This is another story, how I uh, had an audience with, with Billy Jones in 1962. When I was a senior in high school, I was exploring the old railroad line up uh, through the mountain here at Laurel, and I found this buried in the dirt up there. And when I dug it out, I said, it looks like a railroad artifact. And I took my dad and we went up to uh, Billy Jones's uh, ranch on a weekday uh, up on Dave's Avenue and knocked on the door. Oh. And uh, the lady answered the door and I said, I have this artifact I found up on the old railroad here and I wonder if Billy's available, if he <laughs> can uh, talk to us. Sure, I'll go get him, he'd be interested. So. We went and sat in the living room, and he was so kind and accommodating, just as he always was. And my dad and I heard railroad stories, and he explained that this was an inspection torch that the engineer and fireman could use to inspect at night the running gear of the engine, okay? And uh, he said to me, uh, my, my grandson is out firing up the number two. If you want to ride in the cab, you can go have a cab ride. And we took a ride around the orchard with his grandson, and he showed us his engine barn and all of his various things. So I'll never forget that day. It was very special when I met Billy Jones personally in uh, the summer of 1962. He would have been, I think, 78 years old at that point. You know, I love these stories, Danny, because they all involve people just getting to know him. That's you right. know, I mean, it seemed like he always had time for people. You know, his home was your home. Right. You know, knock on the door, come on in. And let me give you a ride while we're at it. Right. And his friendliness back then inspired a lot of us, including me, to volunteer here and, and keep this all going for future generations. His legacy continues. That's right. Absolutely. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you, Danny. Thank what a you great very story. Much.